Hey everybody, and what I'm doing today is just try to give you a quick look at how to flash a custom kernel um, and also a custom ROM because it's this, pretty much the same method for both anyway. So um, I'm I'm not actually going to flash it because I'm doing this on my Mac because I tried to do it in Camtasia but it kept messing up the sound. So I'm going to show you how to do it, but I'm not actually going to be able to do it myself just to show you. I have just flashed my phone anyway, so I'll be showing you now. So first things first. So I've got my new kind of setup here. I want you to power your device off, so completely turn off. Now, while it's turning off, I need you to go download Samsung Keys. Now, you're going to need Windows to actually do this flashing. I've tried to use Boot Camp, tried to use VMware Fusion, whatever it may be. None of them are working for me. So, this needs to be done the Windows PC. So, go to Samsung website, download Keys. If you've not downloaded it, you need that. Restart your computer. Once it's fully restarted, then you can do what I'm going to show you now. So, first things first, to boot the phone on, you want to boot it into download mode. So, you want to press volume down, make the actual home button, and then as you're holding them to, keep your finger on power. So, keep your finger on all of them. Now it downloads into, actually boots into this mode here, which hopefully you can see on the actual camera. So you've got two options to go volume up or down. If you go down, you'll cancel it. Going up, continue to go to actual downloading mode. Now, just make you aware, if you do break your phone off, you break your phone, I can't be responsible, neither can Light Pro, the actual developer for the, the actual ROM I'm going to flash for you now, I'll show you. So volume up, and now it takes you to downloading mode. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry for the reflection on the actual screen. <clears throat> so what you need to do now, Put that to one side. Right, now as you can see, we're on actual thread here. And what's going to happen is this ROM is going to make it look like this. It's going to make it a nice blue, you know, a nice cool blue look. So this is pretty much what we're going to do. Do exactly what it shows on here. Do not touch these buttons pretty much. I'll show you when I load it up on mine in a moment. And once it gets to the end of the actual flash, this will happen. Once this happens, you can then disconnect your device and it'll just reboot into its own, into the new actual system. So what I want you to download is Lightning ROM 1.4 and also OD3 1.85. So once you've downloaded those, obviously you'll have them in a file like this here. Wait to load up Odin. So obviously it'll be like this. Now this is where we're gonna have problems actually showing you specifically what to do, how it's gonna look. Basically what you'll happen is you'll connect your actual phone to the actual PC. Now, what will happen then is, as in the pictures up the top, that there, which I should be zooming in on now, will go yellow like that there. So as you can see, they're ticked and they're ticked. And what we're going to do is, as you can see, where the PDA, you want to go to PDA within Odin, then go to where your actual ROM is. So as an example on this one. You will just go there, click open, and then what will happen at that point is <clears throat> you'll click start. That's it. It will then flash the ROM. This will actually be still yellow, like just, just here. This will start going progressively up, 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 and up. When it gets to the end, it will show you this. Your phone will actually reboot, and it will start into the brand new ROM. All your data will be saved, so not everything you've got on the phone now, your applications, whatever it may be, they're all there, you have not lost anything. So, and that's it. Your phone is now fully rooted, it's updated to the newest kernel, it's got the newest, basically everything on it, and it's being customised to make it a little bit faster as well. So, these are some of the actual basic features on it. It's blue themed, <clears throat> it's got the cool animation, that a lot of you have been asking me, basically that what happens at that point is when you turn your phone on and off, it looks like an old CRT screen, which I think it looks pretty damn cool. It has a nice over scroll. Um, it's all being optimized, so it makes it all faster. Again, you can read it all in the thread. I will put all the links down below as to what you need to do. And that's pretty much it. So that is how simple it actually is. I know you're thinking, well, I could have done that. Exactly, it's probably one of the easiest things you can ever do. Well, actually, you know, for flashing a phone. That's it. So what will happen, your phone will boot up, once it does reboot, what will happen, you'll get a triangle on the phone, so I'll just turn my phone back on now, so as you can see there, you get a, ye a yellow triangle, 
which then basically kind of confirming that you've, you've installed the new kernel, that you've now it's rooted, so your phone's now ready to go. So hopefully, let's see if I can try and show you a bit better now. Try and take the white off the screen. So what'll happen once it's fully booted up? There's the normal lock screen. Now I've got widget locker installed. What'll happen in a minute? It'll actually overtake the home screen, and it'll take control of that. And as you can see, there's my new lock screen. So it's going to the actual phone itself, and that's it. So as you can see, you get your pretty cool kind of the blue icons at the top. Hopefully, it's coming off the camera. If not, I'll post some screenshots up on Twitter anywhere. But as you can see, it's pretty much all there. Um, and this is actual Launcher Pro. You do get this with the actual ROM itself. So when you turn your phone on and you press menu, you'll get an option between TouchWiz and Launcher Pro. I choose Launcher Pro if you want to do a bit more, make it a little bit a little bit different. And you can download theme packs. And you can also install like different widgets that you get within Launcher Pro. So pay for Launcher Pro Plus my recommendation because it's really really cool that's pretty much it if you've got any questions or comments leave them down below hit me up on twitter and the crt screen offer i'm telling you about it's just that one there so it just makes it look like an old tv so that's it that's the video um if you like if you want more of these kind of videos then just tell me and i will try to do more and i shall see you in my next video cheers